Hey guys, it's Brian. Thought I'd have uh, <clears throat> excuse me, one five minute game today. I'm playing Voss 16, 1930 rated from Italy. Italy. So, Knight F3. So I'm gonna go for the Queen's Indian here. Solid. Not. Uh, Not too aggressive, but solid. I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna flick this check in, see what he does with his bishop. Let me go back here. Black sort of does this in a lot of different openings, just to argue that the bishop is less well placed here than on other squares. All right, so I'm just gonna castle. And uh, what should I do in the center here? If I play c5, he might play d5. If I play d5. Try to hold up e4. Takes. I'll probably take with the knight. I think I'll play d5. It looks like it's blocking my bishop in, and it is. Um, but it won't be if he if he captures. Or maybe I'll I'll complete my development with knight to d7. The other thing is with the Fianchetto development here. If I capture on c5, he's going to have to figure out some way to get the pawn back because the bishop's off its home diagonal or the main development diagonal. He'll have to come up with some way to get the pawn back. So he just decides to take. So I'm going to take with the knight. And he can play e4 now. Okay, now he can't play e4. And now maybe is a good time for me to get c5 in. Or should I, do, or should I work on development first? Knight. He wants to trade off bishops. Hmm. Well, I don't really see much else for me to do here. I'll just get this knight out, challenging the other knight. And uh, this is looking... Uh, okay. So he can grab my dark square bishop if he wants to. He did. And I think I'll just play c5 now. So we have a bishop versus knight situation. I'm going to play c5. If, if, as long as this bishop stays off of the... No, it didn't. Okay, I can't play c5 yet because he's got pressure on this pawn. Or, let's see, c5, d5 takes... Yeah, c5 is okay. So I've got my last weakness off out of the position here. And... Uh, quickly bringing Rook to the D-file. This game looks pretty even. Not a whole lot going on, but that's sort of a feature of the uh, <clears throat> of the Queen's Indian positions. You know, it's very solid for black, but I don't think black has a whole lot of... Oh, uh, now I'm losing an exchange. Awesome. So I don't think black has a whole lot of uh, winning chances. Anyway, I'm in some trouble here now, because I just dropped the exchange. So I'm going to have to play the exchange down and sort of play for time. I'm a little bit ahead on the clock. I'll try to get a rook to the d-file quickly. He's sort of playing a little slowly, so that's uh, a little bit in my favor. Is he threatening to trap this knight? Force it to an uncomfortable square. Possibly. Uh, with a move like b4, the knight doesn't have too many good options if it gets kicked off of the c5 square. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So that's something I need to think about. Okay, he's probably going to bring a rook to challenge the D file pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give my I'm just going to give my king an escape square just to be safe. Okay, he can try to force queens off. He could have forced queens off with queen to d8 check, and then queen takes would have been forced. But I'm not particularly interested in that. I want to hold on to my queen just for some uh, some possibilities to throw in some checks and win on time. i got to improve this knight a little bit. Yeah, he's going to... I'm going to play, I'm going to play f6. He can't play queen to d7. He could play b4 and then queen to d7, though. Yeah, not interested in the queen trade. So I'm going to get out of it like this. And I'm going to hit his a pawn. He has no check on this rank with the rook. because of the knight is nicely covering the d7 sp uh, point. Yeah, that's why he played b4. Um, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to try to survive with my king on h6, but I don't think that's going to happen. If I could just get away with one with with one tempo, I think I can get in a perpetual check, maybe. You know, he's attacking the knight and wants to trade off queens. But I'm not going to do that because I have, <clears throat> I have. He only has 29 seconds, and I have a minute and 42 seconds. So about right here, just blocking any possible checks on the diagonal. Okay, he's pinning the knight. Get my queen up just one rank here. Defend this pawn for when that happens. Oh, now I've lost the knight. That's true. Um, okay, if he takes the knight, I'm going to try to get a perpetual check in. Oh, but that's check, of course. Okay, this should be a perpetual, right? No, I don't have a check on the diagonal. Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh... Okay, what about this move? Nearly threatening mate, but also threatening a perpetual. Is this a perpetual check here? Yeah. I mean, I don't really... Yeah. I mean, I could try to win on time, but it's, it's really a perpetual because he can't... He doesn't... He can't get out... Uh, you know, if he comes out over here, I've got checks over here, and it looks like I can just sort of check him, at least until his time runs out. But I'll be fair, and I'll give him the draw here. Because uh, I don't want to be a dick and just uh, win on time. Even though I probably could get away with just winning on time. So, good game. Uh, made a total blunder and just lost the exchange. But, uh, you know, somehow just... 
stay in the game and try to get a perpetual one. And uh, it worked out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. And uh, I'll see you next time.